Today we're going to work with tables, and tables are a way of uh, showing different data or images or videos or anything and deciding where you want those to show up um, on the screen. And so there are two different ways to use tables. I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing here and uh, show you what a table might look like. So I'm going to switch over to my sample code, and a table might be something like this where we just have list of information, for instance, names and phone numbers. Uh, you can see I can do color, make the color of the table a certain thing. There are lots of different styles that I can add to a table. We'll be dealing with that when we talk about style sheets in our next course. Uh, but another way that you can use tables is putting things where you want them on the screen. So right here what I've done is I've created a table without a border. So this is a table with a border, but then over here I created a table without a border and in one cell, which is what this is called, this is a cell and that's a cell and that's a cell and that's a cell. And in this I've created one cell where there's an image and another cell where there's a video. So it basically enables me to put the image or the video or whatever it is that I want on where I want it on the screen. So that's what we're going to do here. First we're going to see how to make a basic table like this. Then we're going to see how to uh, do something that's not really that much more complicated. It's just a little different in terms of putting images or videos in different places around the screen. We're going to learn more sophisticated techniques for doing that in our next course which is style sheets but this is a good start. So I'm going to click edit here um, and let me just get rid of all this because we're going to type this in ourselves. So get rid of that. Click show web page so that we can get started here. Um, and the key things that we want to learn is how to start a table. And tables, like all tags, uh, have their way of doing a tag and then they're also going to define their attributes. So we're going to say table and end table. Okay not to be confused with an actual end table. And then a table has an attribute, attribute rather, and it's going to say width. And we're going to say the width of the table, we're going to say equals 400. Remember this is 400 pixels. So we'll see how big that is. Um, then we can also say border if we want there to be a line around it. So we're going to say border equals one. And we're actually going to, let's give it a color as well. I don't know if this will really work. So we'll just say color equals red, right? Then a, um, a table also is going to have a certain number of rows in the table and a certain number of um, actual cells. So we're going to say TR, which stands for table row, and we'll say right now just one. Um, and so you saw with our previous table, it had kind of a header row, and we're going to call that TH. That stands for T header, TH. So we'll say name, and then here we'll say T H again, phone number. Okay, so if I go like this and click show web page, you can see I have the whole table is uh, in red and it gives me a name and a phone number header. And then what I want to do is put the actual information there. But if I'm going to do that, then I'm going to create a new row. So T R, right? And then rather than using a header row, I'm going to use a TD, which is a, a definition of a, a cell. So TD, right? So this is not a header. So I'm going to put Frazier and then put 555-1212. Click Show Web Page. And you can see here that the header row gives it kind of bold and a little bit bigger and it centers it. And then this is my TD. So now what can I do here? Let's say that I don't want the um, the below hand to be uh, uh, red, so I'm going to say BG color equals white. So let's see if that changes. All right, so it creates that, uh, and I can do all sorts of things. I can also choose to not have this be red. I can have just maybe I just want the the header row to be red. So BG color equals red. So then it looks like this. So this is what I want you to do. I'm going to add you at least three rows just so you can see how you can do that. It's very easy to add a row. I can just create this three times. And I don't have to have BG color white. It's it defaults to that. So let me just remove that and remove that. And you can click show web page. And you can see that I have created a table at that point. 
So that's the first thing that we want to be able to do. I want you to create a basic table showing just names and phone numbers um, and make the header row one color and the other rows a different color or white if you choose. Okay, So that's the first thing that we want to do. Then the next thing that I want to show you is I want to show you the ability to um, create a table that you can use for just positioning. So I'm going to create another table here and I'm going to say this is width equals 400 and another table and then I'm going to create my row right actually I'm going to create two rows and then I'm going to create a cell in that row and I'm going to have the row have two cells so these are columns and I'll do that I'll actually just copy that whole thing and use that for my second row so now what I can do if you envision this table right here let's say that I want to put an image here and I want to put a video here and I want to make it big enough to to display this whole to, sh to show up on the whole screen kind of like what we're doing here I'm gonna switch over to my sample code you see here I put my image over here and my video over here and the way that I did that is I created a table that has the width of 600 and then I created one cell that has nothing in it and then one cell that has my image in it on one row right here and then I created another row and in that row I put my video and then I created another cell that has no uh, no image in it so let's go back to my space so I'm gonna make this a 600 cell and what I'm doing here is I'm putting my image into this empty cell, right? So I'm going to say image source equals, I'm going to make it height equals 100. You remember how to do this. And that's basically all I have to do. And then, so I would put that image right here. And then um, what I want to do is down on the, this is, remember, this is one row right here. And then this is on top of this row right here. So then this will be this first cell on the left and this is the cell on the right this is the cell on the left and this is the cell on the right so this one's going to show up on the right now the only thing that I want to add here is an attribute that I haven't shown you yet which is called a line and this is where you can decide where in a big in a cell do you want it to go at the top of the cell or the bottom of the cell or to the left of the cell or the right of the cell and if you want to go top or bottom you do what's called V align and V stands for vertical vertical is up and down and then horizontal is uh, left and right so V align equals top this means that this is going to show up whatever image I have is going to show up at the top of the cell and that's where I want it to show up okay so let me just show this web page right here it's gonna, not, not gonna have anything but I'm gonna go grab from my sample code this image source okay the crest and I'm gonna put it where I want it to be right so I'll show web page now and you can see it shows up right here now what has happened is I haven't created any sizing here uh, it's it's a table width actually width equals 600 but it's going to make it as small as possible so what I'm gonna now do is go over to my sample code and grab my um, code my video code so grab that and I'm gonna put that right here this is my first row right and this is my second row so I'm gonna put that right there and then I click show web page and it shows up uh, the way I want to because now this has some text in it or has some some something in it as opposed to just nothing and so now it expands to the entirety of the uh, table so that is what you want to do if we go back and take a look at it the key tags are table and then how wide do you want the table to be do you want it to have a border or not then you create your row and you can decide on background color then when you do your header you want it to be th stands for table header um, and then td for the different columns so remember you're gonna have to do n tags for all of these um, you can set a specific bg color background color for each cell if you want as well or for a row and then here I want you to, to create this and make an image um, that shows up on the right side of your screen on the top row and then a, a video that goes on the left side of the screen on the bottom row. All right.